This is the exterior inspection. What we've been looking for is indications of movement in the foundation. And when, in it, uh, when the foundation moves, it tends to cause cracks in the brickwork. And we've got a small crack developing here. You can see it rising up from the lintel here, uh, up the wall. That's at the front elevation over the garage. We've got another one here at the front elevation. Move to side elevation now. This is the left side elevation. Yeah, we have a crack developing here. It may come to nothing. It's early stages. Get a lot of sediment in buildings around this part of the world anyway. We have a front elevation at the portico. Again, we're looking at foundation and issues with the foundation. There's a lot of gaps. Here you can see a gap. Uh, it's got to be closed up. All our rodents. It's big enough for a rat to get through, actually. Yeah, There's a small amount of cracking in the water. I forgot to put that somewhere. Moving to the right elevation. There's tape left over that vent there, and it's going to stop the uh, kitchen ventilator working properly. Now up here, you see you've got a hole there, you've got another hole there, under really heavy rain conditions, almost certain water will penetrate in this area. Now along here you can see the corking is already cracking. This water's gonna get in there. Water's gonna get in all the way along here and right down in that corner there.
We're at the left elevation, side elevation, in the rear yard. Got a gutter drown pipe here. You see it's draining right next to the foundation. It should be extended out at least two feet, otherwise it's going to affect the foundation at that point. More holes in the corking along here. Big hole in the corking there. Here, here. Large hole up there. That's going to be leaking air and water like a sieve. Well, there's movement in the building. We can see it in the trim work here. I'm on the roof at the front elevation. This is the portico here. There's a road there. Swing around nail head here, right in the middle of the shingle. I can't imagine why they put a nail in, but it should be corked anyway. We're on the roof, right at the apex. See here, that is a vent, it's a plumbing vent. And it should actually have the pipe coming up and above the roof. And what has happened is the pipe has sunk because it's not been fixed inside the attic. It really should look like this. Can you see that pipe there? That one? This one should look like this and it doesn't. Now there's two things that can happen here. First thing is a lot of water coming in is going to actually get into the drain system. You don't want that happening. Now the other thing too is at some point it's going to fall right the way through probably. In which case then you've got a big hole in your, in your roof. Over parts of the roof, well here I am, I'm standing, there's a chimney, okay. So we're standing up here, here's the vents. If you turn right away around, you can see there's the pad for the new house being built next door, and the house, and in this area here, I'm using this as an example, you can see there's damage, impact damage to the shingles. Here, up here, here they've been crushed, the grit has come away. Yeah. And as such, that abrasion is going to shorten the life of those shingles. I would raise this as a concern with the builder. You could actually get a insurance company to have a look at it, see whether or not they think there's any hail damage. It doesn't appear to be hail damage, but you can never write that off. You've got to say, oh no, that's definitely hail damage. When it happens big time, it's easy to spot. When it's small time, it's not. And I don't know whether this house was actually had a roof on it in April, which is when, or well, last April, when we last had the hailstorms come through. front elevation. You see here we've got a lot of abrasions on the roof. It looks like it was really frankly damaged by the installers. 